And even if we had the S, we got no. G. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Solamente il G. C. He says he's saving the rest for later. And if you got no G, you got no M. No magic. And without magic, you got none of this. All together, class? Me gosh. What? No, no, no. Mega Cash. What's gonna restore Luigi's good name? Mega Cash. What's gonna pay for his widow's retirement? Mega Cash. If you can't spell Mega Cash, you can't smell success. Come on, class. You heard what he said. This one starts with a G. And no circus can be a success without it. Can anybody guess? Dunny. Girls? Gorillas? Gideon's Guide. Huh? Yeah, I read the book you gave me. Well, I read the cliff notes, but I went back to the book and I read that part you marked out. Story of my life, really. Son runs away, spends all his money, ends up broke in a no-pay gig slopping overweight animals, comes to his senses, heads for home, only to find his father waiting for him. Son? Dad? Just practicing. Whatever. Anyway. I kept reading, and I figured out that before I could get things right with my parents, I had to get things right with God. So why is everyone so depressed? I'll tell you why, Miss Sunshine. It's because you got no grand finale. Excuse me. I've been practicing an act that might work. What are you going to do, shovel elephant dung to music? It's better than that. It's called the Human Mirror Ball. I've been working on it every night now for months, just waiting for a chance to try it in a live audience. Imagine this. A giant mirror ball hoisted 50 feet into the air with a beating heart inside of it. Heart? Hey, hey maybe the kid's onto something. It's got heart, magic, excitement, spectacle. <laughs> And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, our grand finale. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the human mirror ball. you down. Mind if I smoke? I can't let go of the rope. I can't let go of the rope. Well, it comes with the territory, and it's always something, isn't it? Whether it's interference from managers, publicity types, whoever, you just learn to hang tough. There was even some marketing guru at the label who was saying, hey, couldn't you just work their last video in there somewhere in the film, you know, just to make it longer? And I'm saying, hey, I'll work in Aliens from Outer Space, just show me how it fits in the story. And he says, well, maybe it could be a dream sequence. 
And I'm saying, yeah, I'll just have the band all click their boots together and say there's no place like home. I mean, come on. My integrity as a director is not for sale. You gave us a pretty good scare there, man. Yeah, who knows what would have happened if you hadn't landed on Saki. <laughs> I don't know why, but I was having the strangest dream. You were there. You were there. You were there. <laughs> well, maybe you weren't there, but, but for John, you were definitely there. We were all in a band together, and, and, and I was playing bass and, and singing, and, and I was actually really good. Phil, you're delirious. You need some rest. Nurse! Oh, and we all had these spaceman outfits on, and, and I had these really cool glasses, and, and there was this girl from another planet. And come to think of it, maybe there was a gorilla. Wait! The benefit performance. How do we do? I think we made a lot of new friends. I'm sorry, Jeff. I don't speak hype. Pete, can you translate? Jeff's talking about the 35 people that didn't ask for their money back. But we were competing with a lot of other big events. Peter? Dunny, I believe, is referring to the double coupon week at Safeway. I'm pretty sure not all the money's been counted yet. Jody's gonna rake under the bleachers for spare change. <clears throat> what John's trying to say is we lost our shirts. Hello? Anyway. Yeah. Getting back to the tree. You got the tape. Oh, I 
the one of the guy falling on the clown. Wait, wait a minute, who is this? Oh, 